Let's go to, uh, to uh, I was going to say Scott Morrison, Treasurer. He's not anymore, is he? Josh Frydenberg. Uh, he is now the Goldman Sachs Chairman in Australia and New Zealand. That job was announced this morning, of course. He then followed up and confirmed, interesting choice of words, Chris, that he would not contest the upcoming 2024 election. He didn't say he'll never go back into politics. Uh, he's my age. I'd regard us as young enough to have multiple careers. Maybe he's going to do this and then go to politics down the track, but I suspect he won't. I suspect uh, this is the end of politics now um, for Josh Frydenberg. What do you think that means then for Peter Dutton in Canberra? Because there's now no moderate in the, um, in the hunting for the opposition leader's job. Yeah, I think it's a pity, really, because I think Josh did do a good job um, as Treasurer during the, that difficult pandemic period. You know, we came out of that period with a AAA credit rating and the lowest unemployment we'd had in 50 years. So it was a, a difficult time. Perhaps uh, Josh overspent, perhaps the government did overspend. That might be why we've got so much inflation now. But I think for the Liberal Party, it raises some pretty serious concerns. You know, if the most senior Liberal south of the Murray is John Pizzuto, then I think you do have a problem. So this is the state that produced um, Robert Menzies and Andrew Peacock and Peter Costello and, and Josh Frydenberg. And uh, it's now lost Josh and it previously lost Alan Tudge. It's pretty bad, I think, for the Liberal Party nationally if it doesn't have decent star power in Melbourne. Yeah, I think uh, I'll come to this with Moira Deeming a bit later in the show, but I think uh, the Victorian Liberal Party is absolutely in a world of pain. I think this just adds to it. Let's go to a shocker of a week that Chris Bowen has had. Made a fool of himself, of course, on Q&A, where a high, a high school student really outsmarted him on nuclear power. Uh, he hasn't consulted communities in Ballarat. There's a backlash there and his colleague Catherine King's after him as well. He's been criticised about this offshore wind farm, massive offshore wind farm off Port Stephens. The PM, though, is backing him in. Now, I'm told in Canberra he's uh, increasingly on the nose with his colleagues because this stuff is now starting to hit them at an electorate level. Well, it's one of the biggest things going in, in federal government, isn't it, the, um, the energy transition. And you've got a guy here who came from local government pretty early into the ministry under Rudd then really made a mess of uh, the migration portfolio. I would have thought um, if I were Anthony Albanese, I'd be wanting someone who had a bit of a better track record at service delivery than this. And let's not forget, Chris, I mean, he's the bloke that came up with those tax policies and that lost the 2019 un unlosable election for Bill Shorten. I mean, going after retirees, well, that was Chris Bowen. Buggering up in boats, well, that was Chris Bowen. And now he's in charge of renewables. And, and then ending negative gearing. That would, that would be wonderful for the housing market now, wouldn't it? <laughs> Spot on. Well, there you go. Chris Bowen, the gift that keeps on giving if you're on the opposite side of politics. Chris Mitchell, thank you as always.